Hi, welcome to Mama Moments. Today we're making cheeseburgers. Um, we were gonna eat out and um, we both had, me and my husband had a taste for cheeseburgers, but it was gonna be like over a hundred bucks for our family to eat. So tonight we're making cheeseburgers for dinner. Oh, that's, I don't know if you can hear that going off. There's a, an alarm in the background. Um, lets the farmers know what time it is, so. We've got three, about three pounds of ground beef and six eggs. Half a cup of um, oats. These are just the old fashioned ones, I think. These are the fresh ones. Half a cup of mayonnaise. And then I chopped up about, it was like two large onions. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of, about that much parsley. I have some um, steak seasoning. Onion powder. And then if you like, which we do, um, white pepper. Not as much of that. So, and then we're going to get, let me get a big spoon. Okay, we're going to mix it a little bit with the spoon and then we're going to get our hands in there. I'll say she's got a little bit of a cold. Oh, which reminds me, let's add some fresh garlic. And we'll just do a little zester. <laughs> Try not to get any finger in there. The other day I was making a uh, carrot cake muffins and uh Yeah, I got a little bit of my my thumb, part of my finger, and drew blood, and uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the little piece of skin went, so luckily just our family was eating it, and they turned out good, and I wasn't going to waste the whole batch just because of that, so. 
I don't know if any of you have experienced uh, anything similar. That was my first time doing that. with the zester is getting it off. And don't shred any of the spatula. Yeah. <laughs> Get the spatula, good point. My daughter is videotaping. All right, I'm going to wash my hands real fast. Make sure everything is well mixed in. You don't want to bite with just pure raw garlic. And then, yeah, it's still, still a little too sticky. I'm going to go ahead and add some more oatmeal. Okay, so yeah, this is just the old-fashioned oats. And you know what? I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. I don't usually do like an actual written out recipe when I make, let's see, this could be used for meatloaf or um, meatballs or anything like that. Okay. Looks a little better. Um, if you are going to do these on the grill, I suggest not adding the onions. Um, we tried that before and I think the Onions made it too wet and the burgers like fell apart. So um, we tried it both ways and they seemed to cook much better on the grill without the onions and then we just added the onions raw to 
to the burgers afterwards. So. Now to get them. You want to try to do about the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine never are. Yeah, that's the fun thing about cooking is it's almost like an art form. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can change it and it's kind of exciting that way. So if you don't like something in a recipe, you don't have to go exactly off of it. Change it up and try something new. If it doesn't turn out, then you know for next time. And you just kind of learn from it as you go. The thing with not going off a recipe, though, sometimes is, like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever had, or you made something really really good and then you couldn't remember exactly what you did to make it turn out so good and it was like a one-time thing. My daughter says this is so boring so I'm well, sorry. I don't get to do anything. I have to sit here and hold the camera. I'm sorry if you're bored. Well we get to bake along. I get yeah, hopefully you guys are baking along with me, so hopefully this isn't boring. Hopefully you're having fun making and not holding the camera. Your meatballs. <laughs> Don't complain. Yes, ma'am. Oh, the life of a teenager. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your life as a baby, Elsie. Are you having fun, Elsie? She said, nice in her high chair. She just threw a water bottle, though. Oh, hi. Okay. Some of my onions are bigger than I should have done. Mm. 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 I'm gonna get a piece of. Oh, the cups. Mm. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna put another piece of. And put a piece of wax paper down on top. And if you're, you know, if you have a small family or you're not cooking for a crowd of people, you can always 
cut back. Um, today I'm doing a lot. We have eight people in the family and I love um, hamburger leftovers. So That and the ground beef was actually on sale at a decent price. So. I just put a little bit of oil in the pan and put a little bit more. I've never gotten this kind. It's extra virgin olive oil, garlic infused. I normally get um, avocado oil, but the grocery, st grocery store here in town did not have it. So we're gonna see how that works. I guess I could use butter. We'll see how these first ones turn out. My husband was talking about rodeo burgers. Um, I don't even know if they still have them. I haven't been to McDonald's or Burger King in probably, I know it's been at least over five years since I've been there, maybe longer. Um, I used to live close to one and now we don't. So, but my husband used to love the rodeo burgers and he was talking about how easy they were so that's what we decided to go for. So we're gonna cook some onion rings. Now we got the burgers are going so we can make our own rodeo burgers. Mm -hmm. So a rodeo burger, I guess, is just the Cheeseburger with barbecue sauce and a few onion rings on it. It's pretty simple and delicious. Can't remember the last time I had one, but I think I have had them a couple times and I was a pretty big fan. the smoke clean point is for <coughs> olive oil. I see. What you doing? What you doing? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> She's like, I'm 
where are you going? <laughs> All right, this is hot. Smells like it's burning. No, let's just make dirty burner. <laughs> I need my burgers too big. <laughs> Nice All right, I'm not going to bore you guys since I can only cook one at a time. Um, I will come back um, I'm going to keep cooking and we'll come back and show you what they look like when we're all done We're back and the burgers are done. Um, show you. We put them on um, parchment paper and got the cheese on there and the onion rings and then put them in the oven to melt the cheese. And now I'm gonna have a test taster. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, pick a burger and uh, here mm. it's probably hot, so you're gonna want. Well, only like me a little well done, so it looks okay. good. So we put um, barbecue sauce, well, Aurora, put barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, and lettuce, except for her preets. He said that he likes the Ketchup. stuff for potatoes. He always calls um, tomatoes potatoes, so. Other than it's that, they so all have. It's so loaded. Alright, let's see here. Careful's hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Alright, so it's teenager approved. Alright, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope that this mm -hmm. was um, I don't know, interesting or. <laughs> But educational. If you like, yeah, <laughs> educational. If you like videos like this, please give this a thumbs up. And I will try to make some more cooking videos if that's uh, something that you guys would be interested in. Uh, you guys have a great night, and we'll talk mm. to you later.